Victoria just woke up, so I was curious to see what perch she would be on this morning, because usually she's on that one. So this morning she was on this one. So that's a really good sign that she loves it, and it's really comfy on her feet. Yeah, because birds need a choice. In the wild, they have a choice. In captivity, they need a choice as well. Yeah, and she chose comfiness. I know it's dark, but look at that. Oh, and here she comes. Here she comes. Everybody's just waking up. How are you, Victoria? You okay? What? Free. Oh, here she goes. She's my dancing girl. She's my dancing girl. Hi guys, welcome to Parrot Playhouse. My name is April. That is the incredible Victoria Cuck too in her outside patio cage. And today we're gonna make DIY perches. We're gonna make flat perches and side perches. I got this idea from Don Scott. He runs the Chloe Sanctuary. He is the cockatoo whisperer. He is incredible when it comes to those crazy cockatoos. Link is below. He has a YouTube channel if you want to take your cockatoo knowledge to the next level. Anyway, so we had a situation here at Parrot Playhouse. I was inspecting my birds from beak to bottom and guess what I saw when I looked at baby's feet? I saw a red dot at the bottom of his foot. Now, his veterinarian wasn't worried, but I want that red dot to go away because what can happen is if your birds do not have extra comfiness on their feet, they can develop pressure sores, which can open and turn out to be a whole lot of drama, which I like to avoid, right? So I thought, you know, let's call up my friend Don and um, get some instructions on how to make these perches and then of course I'm gonna share it with you. This is what we're gonna use to make our perches today. We're gonna use a circular saw by Ryobi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And then we're also gonna use a drill. We're definitely gonna need the drill. And we're gonna need some drill bits. I know it's a mess, it's crazy. And then we're gonna need a steel carpenter square to measure eye goggles. And we're also gonna use hanger bolts right there, wing nuts, and some fender washers. And birch pine wood. Okay, so I've already measured the cages. I know how long I want each perch to be. So I'm drawing my line right now, getting ready. So now I'm lining up the saw with the line, getting ready to cut. You guys, I have to tell you, I didn't even know how to turn this thing on as of two weeks ago, but Facebook friends directed me to YouTube videos, but right here, oh, oh, the blade's not long enough. Oh my gosh, <laughs> don't laugh at me. So don't worry, I tried it again. Here we go, we're gonna get it right this time. Oh, I did it and I've got all my fingers. Oh my gosh. So now here we go with the hanger bolts and then we got the drill bit. We're trying to figure this out. Like the saw, I had never used one of these things before, but here I go and something's not going quite right. I think I've hit a knot because it was like trying to go through concrete and I might've broke a couple bits and some of them stayed in the wood, but you know what? That's okay. We had a lot of wood to go and you can buy drill bits, right? So here we go. I'm just getting desperate at this point, as you can see. Trust me, it comes out really good at the end. Oh, wow, I'm so proud of myself. Look at all those holes in that thing, and all I needed was one. So here we go. I had this really good idea with the hanger bolts. Yep, and there's the stainless steel little wing nut. I figured I'd just crank it in, and it would push the hanger bolt in, and it worked. I think our Tommy gives it. Wow, that, now that was an approval. He loves it. It's good? Yay! Make a big deal out of it. Like, good oh boy, you know, praise him. Look at him, he's checking out the toys. Okay, so we still have to rearrange the cage, make it 
perfect, make it comfortable, because he is a handicapped parrot. But, um, oh, he's preening. He's still trying to attack me. So, um, he's under there hopping. He's totally upset. Now he's gonna tear a paper. Okay, so let's look at Victoria's. All because, okay, so this is gonna turn out bad now because Victoria and Puffy don't exactly get along. Thomas, that's enough. Gosh, you see what happens when we film? It's a lot of work, you guys. So he's still, all right, so here we go. So Victoria actually prefers this perch the other way. Here comes Puffy again. Those of you that want a kayak, really think about it. Really think about it. Okay, so he bit me. He got me after all that. He actually got me. All right, no, you don't. He's trying to come up to bite me. Go in there, step up. No, stay in there. You have been really bad. Yeah, you have. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna put him in there for a cool down. Kaiks need to cool off when they get wound up. Yeah. Who would have thought? Here we are worried about the saw, we're worried about the drill, but no, it was the kaiks that made mommy bleed at the end. Oh man. Okay, here we go, here's the perch. So this is another way you can put it. They can sit, they can stand. It's really nice for the little tootsies. It's great for the smaller birds. Victoria actually likes hers nice and flat. So we'll actually change that in a bit, but for the little birds, you could do it like this, and then it's easier for them to chew and make into a toy. Thank you for watching, guys. That's the end of the video. Victoria, is it extra comfy in there? Do you like it? Do you like your new perch? Huh? What? Are you gonna dance? Ah! <laughs> there she goes! Woo! Oh! She loves it! Alright guys, we've got success! We love you! Bye! <laughs> You're so funny!